Hey, I'm Brian Wallace with North Texas Marine. Today we're going to be talking about Blue Wave boats and specifically this 2200 Pier Bay. So we use an all welded aluminum trailer. So all of our aluminum cross members are welded together and it's actually a C-beam so it gives a nice finished look on the outside. LED lighting all down the trailer as well and a swing tongue. Swing tongue is important because I can get this boat into a lot of tight areas. All these components are rhino line, so it's a non-skid textured finish. On this particular trailer, we've outfitted it with 18 inch black alloy wheels. We've also chosen to custom paint the fenders. That will complete that custom look. Now also on the Blue Wave boat, you're gonna have a choice of three color pins. So the hull or the running surface of the boat is a color, the side profile is a color, and the interior is a color. Um, trim tabs are optional. These trim tabs you can think of like flaps on an airplane. They redirect water flow and change the boat's attitude and both how it rides. It can get on plane quicker and you can adjust the boat side to side and how it planes. All across the back of the boat you'll see several drains. So you've got floor drains, live well drains, and underneath here you've got box drains. Underneath the boat also you've got this high speed live well pickup and a stainless steel drain plug. Now all Blue Ways will come with a 10 inch jack plate. We've optioned this one with a hydraulic jack plate, which will give you six inches of vertical fall and lift controlled by you, the driver. That will let you get into shallower water and also increase your performance on top end. Also a notable feature on Blue Way boats is it's a flat transom with a continuous rub rail. So we don't have a break in our rub rail, it follows all the way against our transom, nor do we have a big knot splash well like competitors will have. So Blue Wave has a choice of power between Mercury, Yamaha, and Suzuki. Today we're showing you this boat with Yamaha's VF250. That's a 4.2 liter V6 four stroke, 250 horsepower. It's their SHO version, super high output. On the back deck, you'll notice we have flip up rear jump seats. These will add extra seating room for your passengers. They've got fold down armrest, custom matched interior, and a nice finished storage box underneath them. When they're folded flat, they complete the rear fishing deck. Up on the rear fishing deck, we mentioned earlier the fact that there's not a splash well in this boat. So all of the rear fishing deck is usable walk space, and that's because that motor is pushed back with a standard jack plate. Let me open our access hatch, and you'll look into our bilge. We'll get a good peek of our rigging, some of our construction techniques and features. Now at the helm or the center console, there's actually gonna be a lot to talk about. So starting with the seats, these are Blue Wave's Cyclone seats. They independently articulate, they can rotate 360 degrees, slide in and aft or forward and back. Very important because now you and your passenger can have two different rides or you can use them as a rear fish seat by turning them rearward and fishing off the rear deck. And in addition to that, each passenger or driver has their own footrest. So you'll notice my steering wheel is a tilt steering with an assist knob. This assist knob lets you make quick and precise turns without having to grab the wheel. This Humminbird Helix 10 is right in front of you. It's not interrupted by the steering wheel. It's in a good position straight ahead. Uh, moving over to the side, we'll do our instrumentation. These have Yamaha digital gauges. Depending on the power you choose will depend on what those gauges may look like. Now moving on to the switch panel, there's a lot of small details here I'm going to hit on. One, you'll notice these switches have a wave pattern. Something just a little extra to give that blue wave effect inside. Also, they light up. So as you as a function on, you'll have a tip light. To finish off talking about our console, if you had a height restriction, whether on the water or trying to store it, you can remove the grab rail and easily remove the windshield to get an extra 10 inches of clearance. So the reason we're all here is because this is a fishing boat and I'm going to show you some of the fishing features of, aboard the Blue Wave. This is your rear main live well. A couple notable features on this live well, it's got rounded corners. Rounded corner will help keep bait alive longer. Also you'll notice a big three inch drain. What that does is when you pull the drain to drain your live well, if you've got any remnants of bait or trash or grass, it'll flush out that three inch drain save you work and have to scoop it up. Next thing you'll notice is we've got a filter screen that is guarding our recirculator pump. So this live well has a recirculator, meaning it will recycle the water that's in it. It'll suck it in, spit it back out. In addition to that, we've got a oxygenator. So if you've ever seen a bubbler in a fish tank, this is very similar. In addition to the rear live well, we've got a front bait well. It shares many of the similar features 
has rounded corners, a recirculator, a light, and a bubbling stone. There's a multitude of rod storage on the boat depending on what you're bringing or how quick you need to access. There's a backrest in the center console. It's great for wallets, keys, and cell phones. There's a big dry box to the right, a rod box to the left, and two insulated boxes in the center. It is a fishing boat, so what's not complete than a fishing chair? It's an option on many people's boat. We put it standard at North Texas Marine. It's a good place to run the trolling motor, good place to sight fish, or just grab a seat. So if you find a center console in your near future, please consider North Texas Marine in Gainesville and Fort Worth, Texas.